cringing shit. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, what's him call it? The the kid I met that I told you about, he was like, man, you could probably be Burkle. I was like, oh yeah, I could definitely be Burkle. That dude's trash. He's cringe. <laughs> I stopped watching him. That man is disgusting. And I meant it. Every word. You like pineapple? It's like pineapple. What about it? Is there something wrong with liking pineapple? I just don't like pineapple myself. It's, I mean, it's juicy. Thank you for purchasing the add-on. Naruto Next Generation ZLC Update Pack has been aware with the following item set. Kinshiki, Momomo, uh, oh my god, it gives me the, the Road to Boruto outfits. I was not expecting that. I have every Road to Boruto outfit. I got, uh, let's see. I got Ino, Shikamaru, Choji, Kiba, Shino, Hinata, Lee, Tenten, Konkudo, Tamari, Sai, and that's it. Yet, I don't have Gara. <laughs> Alright, let's immediately go to the collection to see if there's anything I can buy for these guys. Even though they was only in like a single episode, they might still have stuff. Uh, like, if they have cut-in images for the Sound 4 who is only in like very, like, individual episodes, they must have some for the- Yep, they do. Let's go! Confirm purchase. I want to buy. Now back. Now I have every single thing in the game like I did before, except for the outfits. I'm still missing a couple, I think. Or maybe I'm not, because this DLC. I don't. I don't know if I am or not. I'm. I'm really. I'm really confused now. Uh, where do I go to find costumes? I think it's the the general Bandai store. Back to the collection. General Bandai store, buy. These are not ninja outfits. Uh, a treasure exchange costumes. Maybe I gotta buy the board to outfits. No, I do not. I think I already have every outfit in the game. Then, yeah, seeing how my money is maxed out as well. I got the Naruto Sasuke outfit and the Sasuke Naruto outfit. I don't know why that's in the game. Like, imagine wearing Naruto's outfit and be like, "Yeah, I'm cool and shit." Like, "Yeah, I'm cool." I look cool and shit. I look cool wearing this child's outfit. I hate one thing with Kiba. Kiba's alt, not his alt. His um, when you when you run the Boruto outfit of him, he becomes he has the kid Kiba moveset, which is really stupid in my opinion. Road to Boruto. Oh my god, I hate Choji. He looks hideous. I hate his look. I hate him. Honestly, I think Shikamaru is probably the best looking Road to Boruto character. Do they at least have the team combo? They do not. How do you lose your team combo just because you're Boruto characters and I left? Oh my god. Go back to practice. I want to see what these dudes look like and stuff. Because I want to make a team that has Shikamaru on it, but now that I have the Boruto off, I can actually make them look pretty cool. Not like other base Shikamaru is bad, but adult Shikamaru slash Boruto one is pretty cool looking. Boruto Ino is cute, I think. Yeah, she's... She could be better. Do, wait, do I have Boruto Sakura, though? I do not. Oh, she's not even in the game. I thought she was. Maybe it's like a skin that I gotta get from the Boruto DLC. Because I'm pretty sure Boruto Sakura is in the game. Yep. Mm, there's, I'm missing a Naruto outfit. Size outfit from Boruto. Looks like a me character, but it's fine. Oh, I thought that instantly broke my shield. Damn. Let's see. Road to Boruto Hinata. The best Hinata. No one can change my mind. This Hinata with a sweater is the best looking Hinata in the game. Oh, there's the other guys. Also, I'm pretty sure... Does she take after Kid Hinata's stance? I think so. I'm pretty sure that she does, at least. Oh. Uh, uh, Borto Hinata. Never mind, she takes after the last Hinata stance. No. She has three different idol stances. There's there's normal Hinata, which crosses her hands. There's Boruto Hinata, which puts her hand out. And then there's the last Hinata, which also puts her hand out. But she has a different idol stance for when you um have her on the title screen. This is really cool. Ew, ew, bor ew, Boruto Shino. I... 
I honestly hate Boruto Kiba because Boruto Kiba is just Kid Kiba. And not like I have a problem with Kid Kiba. But like, where's Akamaru? What happened to him? What happened to Akamaru, to a Akamaru and Boruto? Nothing. Where is he then? Then what's this red dog or this brown dog on his head? Answer me! <laughs> huh, I don't know, that's my answer. Just pulls out gun. Answer me! <laughs> I hate I hate Adult Lee. Adult Lee is fucking hideous. He's scary. No. He's terrifying. <laughs> that's funny, you can't run Adult Lee with Guy because they don't have the they don't have the team halt. And there and of course there is no there is no adult Neji. <laughs> 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 so I think there's also Ten Ten and Konkuro I gotta look at. Like, I like how we're laughing at that. <laughs> there's no adult Neji. <laughs> adult Konkuro is disgusting. He Where's looks so. Patch, God damn it! Why does he get more pale? When Konkuro goes to Borto, he gets more pale. Makeup. Makeup. Yes. That nigga pale. Tamari looks good, but you know, Tamari always looks good. Her Tamari. hair gets her hair gets more yellow, and her outfit gets better. She even looks good in her swimsuit. Oh, her swimsuit actually looks really good because the sweater. Honestly, like if you're wearing a swimsuit, that's one thing. If you're wearing a swimsuit with a sweater, you got me hooked. All right, let's do what you call it, Okamashuka Kukukuku, and then this guy. M moshi moshi kiki, moshi moshi, <laughs> moshi moshi kiki, and I guess for shits and giggles I'll run ugly ass Kiba. Road to Boruto Kiba, my ugliest looking character. Oh my god, the bubble guy knows water dragon jutsu. I never knew that. I thought he just knew bubble stuff because he's bubble man. <laughs> I mean, I never played him personally. He is probably like the worst range character besides Tayuya. Tayuya is only good because she has the stupid uh, Doki Dokis or whatever the, the demon things are called. Begin. Wait, I gotta fight this nigga again? Mm. Oh wait, that's right, I never did kill him. Okay, so let's give these dudes a test. Him, huh? First off, their, their walk animation is that they fly. They fly for their walk animation. If you're flying, why is there chakra in your feet? Like, you're not over- you're over the water, yes, but technically you're gliding, so what's the point of having chakra on your feet if you're flying? His sidestep- Oh my god, he's so slow. Well, not slow, but like, his sidestep does not have any range. His back step, just a back step. Forward step, is not that big of a difference with them. Shuriken. He shoots key blast. Chaka Shuriken shoots more key blast. His charge animation is that he flex. He flexes on you for a charge animation. Let's see his combos now, I guess. Neutral combo. Jesus Christ, this dude's hitbox is huge. I like that. That looks nice. Let's see it from not hitting. This man just covers the floor. All right, his down hitbox, his down combo. I'm invincible, Jesus. I'm invincible. All right, his down combo once again. You say you're invincible, yet Sasuke beat the fuck out of you. And back to neutral. All right, and now his up combo. He spins! That's the most special part about it, he spins. Just, just freaks out. He spins! Speed. Like, what is that? In his air combo, he just smacks you with a hammer or a mallet. These guys literally, like, what's, what's up with their chakra? I'm not even gonna question that, it's really cool, honestly. Bink. But yeah, back to his, his up combo that he become. I kid you not, he literally becomes a Beyblade. I, I'm actually really interested by this. Well 
All right, let's do his let's do his grab because this dude's really close to the wall. Away with you! He throws stuff. Oh yeah, let's see his chakra shuriken, his um dash shuriken. He just literally shoots a key blast. We have Zamasu in the game. His his dash, he just glides, back dash, glides again. Charge dash, very fast. Back dash. Alright, let's do his aerial dash. Are these shurikens or are they just like key blasts? Because from afar, it looks like he shoots energy blasts. Yet yeah, when you do his dash up, it looks like he shoots like a shuriken. It's weird. Alright, back to his grab. He throws a spear at you. Cool. Alright, up combo. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I do his up combo from afar. I can do the entire up combo from afar because it just it's like Sage Mode Kabuto. He can do the entire thing without getting like damaged. Speed I just leave an after image behind me basically. Alright, and now I guess it's time for his jutsus and his tilt. Jutsu. Actually, I think this thing hits full screen, so let me just test it. It almost hits full screen. Kiba, move th move this man. The hell was that? Ha, ah, that's cute. I like how Shikamaru, uh, not Shikamaru, uh, the little, the other dog, the, the bootleg Kiba, or the bootleg Akamaru dog, also, also has chakra on the feet when he's on the water, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, that's... And if I'm right, this should be, this is literally just the Fangor thing that Kid Kiba has. With with just about as bad range. Honestly, Boruto Kiba doesn't look that bad. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Maybe I gave him a little bit too much disgust. Uh, maybe I did. Alright, Tilt. Which, which I'm pretty sure is an AoE like full screen move. Because I know that lots of people, or at least one person has did this on me and... All right. He sends out a big shockwave, a very big shockwave. That I don't know if it hurts that much. Oh, it staggers. For or at least from a set distance, it staggers. Let's see what happens if I do a close up. Oh, it's a rapid stagger. And and if you're close up, it just hurts you. But at max, it's two staggers. And plus they're okay. All right, now that we know what chakra yada yada stuff, this dude is gonna be fun to use. I can tell. Back to his neutral combo, which looks really cool, honestly. All right, so I think that is everything. Now just his jutsu. All right, but that has so much end lag. Unless, of course, you cancel it last second. Okay, good. Now he's moved. You have to cancel that so you can combo with it, though. That's the only problem. Alright, and now his ultimate. Oh, that was fast. What is this? Jesus! Oh, that's cool. He cuts the entire world in half. <laughs> well, not the world, but like the, 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 the area. Nice. His grab has a pretty solid range. He's like a, he's like a miniature Madara in a way. And I think that is all from him. Now we just gotta, now it's just his assist. And Kiba is a strike back type, so that works. 
Oh my god, I forgot. Yeah, this dude is like the most broken one of them all. So sidestep. Very fast compared to the other guy. Back step. Back flips. Forward steps. Oh, look at just a little hop. It's cool. Alright. New... Oh, uh, yeah. Shurikens. It's... Oh, it's the, um... The... 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 the seeker Orb Shurikens. While the other dude uses the... Well, I don't know. His, his own type of Shuriken. But, yeah. He has the seeker Orb Shurikens. And these ones track, it looks like. It's kind of like Pain. Dashing Shuriken. Dashing Chakra Shuriken. Alright, let's do his combos now. Neutral combo. Jesus Christ, what in God's name is this? <laughs> okay. Let's see his neutral combo from afar. Well, he has lots of elemental powers, I can say that for sure. Down combo. Is that a tilt beast bomb? What the fuck is that? How much range is this? No, 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 don't don't hold back on me. I want to see how much range. Oh my god, this is cool. Wait, my man throws a damn spirit bomb at you. And lastly, his up combo. It reminds me of Sakon and the Yukons, how they uh, summon a fire, how they summon a tornado. But this one summons it. He summons a tornado and then sets it on fire. And if I did not press the last button, he just keeps it normal. And of course, the air attack is the electricity slam. Alright, now it's time for his Jutsu, which I know personally a lot about because I got spammed with it. Flaming Bird. Peasant Hunt. Or Pheasant Hunt? Yeah, I think that's Peasant Hunt. And I think it sets you on fire. Yes, it does. It's a Phoenix. It's beautiful and I like it. Aerial version. It's the exact same. Good to see. His assist. Yeah, he can work well on a team. Alright, now let's use his ult. Just like the other dude, he throws him or dashes in. There we go. I remember seeing this a long time ago. Triple Threat is the name. That's a Phoenix, that's a Fire Hand, and that's a Golem! Oh, this dude is cool. This dude is cool as hell. All right. Well, I think that is actually no. His grab and his tilt. We got to show off. So his tilt, absorption. From what I know, this takes chakra from you, and he gains chakra. So let me just take off unlimited chakra. Oh yeah, what's his chakra dash? Dash in, dash back, back flips, dash and charge. All right, that does not take chakra. I thought it does. I'm pretty sure it does. I mean, if if you hit, it reminds me a lot of Kakashi's calm way. But it just it just sends him backwards. In his grab. That has so much range. That has a lot of range. His grab gives him an attack buff. His grab gives an attack buff. That is crazy. Alright, how much range does his ult have? Because I know the I gotta test with the other guys well. Pretty much pretty good range. Let's see the other guy. Oh, he has far more range, but less of a, but more startup, I think. Yeah, he has more range, but it takes longer to execute. Yeah, it takes a little longer to execute. Just analyzing the frame data and everything about these characters. 
You know me, gotta make sure that they're fit for fighting. Would it be me if I didn't examine shit? Yes. <laughs> would, it, would it be me if I didn't examine every little speck and detail about a DLC character? <laughs> he yeets him in the air, bites his, bites his hand? He bites something yeah, and... Yeah. <laughs> he bites something, makes blood come out, or something like that. Purple blood. This, this is a... It is. I mean, you just said purple blood, no? Like it's it's like something like something like some like pink leaking thing comes out of his mouth or something to, attached to his hand. All right, let's see the team alt variations. Then we'll go to awakenings. Oh, that's cool. He dashes in and gives you a close up of his Sharingan eye in his hand, and he does a summoning jutsu kind of. This does look very cool, though. He just he just TRKOs you into the floor. And then here comes the big boy. He pulls out a he pulls out his bat and just shoves it inside of you. This reminds me a lot of Scorpion's fatality where he um, goes under you and makes the flame cut you his spear cut you in half. Just that this time you're going underground, not him. All right, the troll spin is nice. I'm trying to see like if I can make you know be annoying with this. Yes, you can. Move, slam dunk. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this guy. Hey. I get he summons water, but can he like summon water from the water? No, he just summons it. His combo sets you on fire. And then his, like, the last hit. Okay. It's like Sasuke's Planetary Devastation, but just way more aggressive. I can run- oh yeah, and Chris, I can run the dude on the team with Sasuke, because um, he's cover fire, one of them substitution, and the other one is, um... Other guy is, um, strike back. So he's basically a Naruto. Alright, let's get into Awaken mode. Alright, 8 God Thunder, God of Flames, Demon Tail, Cry of the Gods, Tatsuki... Tatsumi no Siki B no Kami Nai Masters Elixir Phoenix Hunt Phoenix Hunt Triple Threat Now let's just see this dude stuff Inserted Heavenly Spear Heavenly Winged Slash Or Slice and Axe of Judgment Holy Hammer God of Tides Voice of the Gods uh, Odichi Sweep and Furnace Frenzy Okay Now let's awaken and then take off the team gauge while we do it so we can just like get one by one. I should have let Kiba do this. It's fine though. We can see a cool ultimate again as I eat more pineapple. Too bad this dude never got a transformation. All right, see his awakening full screen. Do they have the Byakugan? Uh, I think so. I mean, because this dude's face is now pulsing. Literally, all he did was just get electricity around his body and get buff. See, now he has tilt abilities. What, he can, what are these? He throws weapons at you. Heavenly Winged Arrow. This reminds me of the Deborah fight in Kakarot. His jutsu is still the same. His moves look the same. Okay, so there's not really much of a difference with him. Oh, but if you um, do his move near the opponent, they get shocked back. I 
I go we. This is, this dude is pretty snapped though. Especially with his super powered spin. Anything that involves a spin is always like always makes me like happy to see. Just like an aggressive tornado. There's a tornado outside. All right, retry. Should I go to McDonald's, Dark? Mm-hmm. Yes, you should. And then you got the guy. He bites his fingers and awakens from the mist with Bauer. Also, he narts. His feet are huge. But he nar He he now runs instead of flies. Yeah, why is he running now? He was able to fly before, now he's just running. Oh yeah, that's because he absorbed the- what's his name? Because... Like, he has his little tiny ring in his back now. I think he's like, I think he absorbed him or something like that. Alright. So now Phoenix Hunt is now his tilt ability. And it cannot be done in the air for some reason. Let's see his triangle circle. Crimson Rossen. That's just a Rossen gun, and it cannot be done in the air. Let me get this right. You have an ability that cannot be done in the air, yet when you activate it, you jump into the air. That sounds fair, right? That's fair. That's so fair. That's totally fair. It's 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 just a, it's basically like a spirit bomb. He makes a giant ball, then it slowly glides at you. His Naruto looks like a demon. Like his arms are long as hell. <laughs> yeah, he just runs like a damn demon. His back step is even that good. Naruto runs like a demon. Let's see his neutral combo. Oh, that's cool. It's like a mix of both of the guys. Let's see his down combo if he has one. Okay, he doesn't. He just keeps the same combo for... Forever. Does he have an up combo at least? Nope. It's like a weird version of Planetary Devastation. Raging God Sky Dance Crimson. And then we got Midair is Raging God Sky Dance. Does it's not the same? Just bink bink slam dunk. Let's see, tilt. It's like awakened Obito. He just starts shooting missiles at you. A lot of them. He just starts. He just starts bombarding you with bullets of of chakra. And they they do a lot of hits, honestly. Let's see, close up. Close up, I can land about 36. Which is a lot. So his tilt just becomes a machine gun. Temple Storm, God of Wisdom, and Crimson Rossen, Phoenix Hunt. Okay. Oh, what? Um, That's a very fast movement. That, that That's actually really quick. Yeah, he, he this man skips Man just in a second make because I'm pretty sure this is also unblockable It is indeed not unblockable Yeah, this is the only I think this is the only gum awakened block attack that makes you dash at the opponent But yeah, we basically get what he's up. He's what he's doing uh, back to his yeah, spirit uh, bomb. All right, now let's just give one more test.
much out of that. Way faster than I expected. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I can get it, if I can absorb the awakening. Because if so, that's going to be really broken. Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> this man swallowed the entire- 